Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today I'm going to be showing you part 3 of how to make a Skype tool and what I'm going to be showing you is how to create a splash screen uh, so if you don't know what a splash screen is, it's basically when you launch the application it's like a visual box with a progress bar or something similar like that and once it's finished doing what it's got to do it will show the form uh, the main application uh, if you don't want to have this because it is optional uh, just click off the video now but uh, if not let's get right into it so before we start I have made an image uh, you're probably going to want to make an image you don't have to use one but obviously it looks a lot better you can customize it to your liking um, so if you do I've made this one and the dimensions are 500 by 230 if you want to copy uh, but obviously again it's down to you and whatever you want to customize so yeah let's get into it from where we left off so first things first, we just want to create a new form and let's just call this loading screen. Uh, before we do anything else with this, uh, if you just go to project and the properties, what we want to do is se select in the startup form, we want loading screen to be the first form. Uh, instead of this one, we want this to be basically. And also the shutdown mode is we want it to be from when the last form closes because the startup form is going to close right away and it just won't work so when the last form closes and uh, to stick that just press save and we can click off this now uh, so yeah there's going to be a couple things we're going to do with this uh, form here first of all we don't want a form border style we just want it to be a plain uh, canvas also another thing we can do is if we go down to start position I'm going to put that to center screen and I'm also going to uh, put the maximize box to false even though we can't see it there I'm just going to uh, disable that and the icon uh, they probably don't matter too much but I'm just doing it to be sure so that's that for that. Also, I just want to go into form one dot design and put this to center screen as well. So if we go back to this now, if we come up to the size, I'm going to put this to 500 by 230, which is the size of my image. And if you scroll up to the top, you will see background image. Uh, so if we select one now from a local resource and my pictures there as you can see now we've got a uh, nice little image for the loading screen so that's pretty much that so once you've got to this step create your image put it on uh, we're going to need to add two things first thing first being a progress bar and secondly we're going to need a timer uh, there is that so the progress bar just align this however you wish I'll just leave it there for now. Uh, center that up a little bit. So that will do. And if you come into the properties of this to the marquee animation speed, change this from 100 to 25 and leave that like that. And the timer, we don't really want to do much with this. Um, so we just leave that how it is. Uh, so to do this, it's pretty straightforward. If you double click on the form, so what this is, this means when the form is loaded as soon as the form is executed we want the timer one and we want that to start so we want the timer to start as soon as the forms loaded uh, so if you come back to the vis the design and double click on timer so now we want to tell the timer well what to do every tick of the timer so what we want to do is that for the progress bar we want that to increment and we can use free in there. Uh, now we want an if statement to check whether or check the value of the progress bar. So how we do this is if progress bar one dot value is equal to one hundred. So that means uh, if it's full, 
if the progress bar gets to the end, then we just want to display form, oops, form one uh, dot show. So form one is our actual tool. Um, so that is that. But we also want to stop the timer because we don't want the time to keep ticking. Uh, so we just do timer one dot stop for that. And also the actual screen itself, the loading screen, we want to close that. So how we do that is me dot close. And that should close this when this is loaded. So let's just save all of that and debug it and let's see what we get. As you can see, we've got a nice little uh, loading screen here. Then we get our form. Oops. Uh, so let's just see if this works still. Connect to Skype. Successfully connected. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Merkic. So that's all working fine. Uh, let's just test that one more time. For a start. There we go. Got a nice little loading screen. And then we'll be presented with our tool. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. If you did like it, be, please be sure to thumbs up and leave a comment. And I'll see you in part four.